So I've been to several different schools across North Carolina. Um, I went to undergrad at Western Carolina University, uh, way up in Cullowhee. Then I got my master's in history at NC State, and um, then I went to law school at UNC Chapel Hill. Over the course of all three of those schools that I mentioned a minute ago, I, I had internships at each. At Western, um, I worked in the archives of the library, helping preserve historical documents and also doing research about um, different projects that the library had going on. At NC State, I worked at the City of Raleigh Museum in downtown Raleigh as a research intern. And then when I was at law school and preparing to um, be an attorney, I had a few different internships. Specifically, I worked at the Office of the Solicitor of the, um, sorry, the Office of the Solicitor General and then at the North Carolina Court of Appeals. They certainly were important. They were extremely important, um, not only in teaching me skills that were important to be a working professional, such as you know how to correspond as a professional, how to write reports that were um, up to the quality that's expected of an attorney or someone in business in the 21st century. But even more importantly, they kind of exposed me to different types of jobs that were out there. So when I was in law school, um, specifically, there's lots of different things you can do with a law degree. You can be a judge, you can be um, an attorney at a law firm, you can work for a company in their legal department. And so the internships I had there really helped me understand what I could do with my degree, the different paths that um, I would take and what I would like and what I wouldn't like. Because some of the internships I had, I didn't like them, but that was just as, as helpful as the ones that I really enjoyed. Smith Anderson is the largest law firm that's based in North Carolina. So there's a bunch of attorneys who work here and we do all different types of law. So I know that sometimes when people think of lawyers, they think of going to the courtroom and arguing in front of a judge, whether for a criminal case or for a civil lawsuit. And our firm does do that. We do litigation for business clients. We also do appellate work at the Court of Appeals, but we also do other types of law. So in addition to litigation, we do corporate law. So um, representing companies in mergers and acquisitions, which is my area of practice. And we have a very large uh, finance practice, so we help clients get loans that they may need to start a company or to expand their company, things like that. So pretty much any, any kind of legal work you can think of, whether it's on the litigation or the transactional side, you'll find somebody here who can do it. So as an associate attorney, um, I am there primarily to assist the partners who are running the transaction and who are the main decision makers, but also to negotiate some of the ancillary documents. So what, what that means is every deal that we work on has a bunch of different documents, a bunch of different contracts that are signed. There might be the, so for example, in a, in a typical acquisition, we'll have one business buying another business. Um, there's gonna be one main contract, which is the purchase agreement. And that's the, the principal contract that determines like the terms on which the business is sold. But there are also uh, many other smaller contracts that have to be completed in order for the deal to go through. As an associate, I'm primarily responsible for handling those smaller contracts to, and working in the background to make sure that all of the um, legal formalities and all the signatures, everything is buttoned up. So when the deal closes, it's, um, it's actually legal <laughs> and it's actually going to be effective. So a lot of it is logistical management, project management, and also um, communicating with the client to make sure they understand the deadlines and they understand what needs to be done. So I didn't start out wanting to be a lawyer. I started wanting to be a teacher because everybody in my family was a teacher. And honestly, I didn't know what lawyers did. Um, nobody in my family had ever been in the law. They were kind of confused when I said I wanted to be a lawyer ultimately. But um, through the course of undergrad and grad school, as I mentioned earlier, I had some internships that kind of helped me understand what I wanted to do and what I didn't want to do. I figured out, you know, teaching, it's a noble profession, and I have a ton of respect for teachers, but I decided I wanted to do something a little different. And um, once I decided that I wanted to think about the law, before I went to law school, I worked as a paralegal in a law office because I thought, you know, before I make the investment of going to school, I really should like try to work in a role for a few years to figure out if this is for me. 
So I worked as a paralegal in um, two law firms in the Triangle, and that role definitely prepared me to be a lawyer. I mean, you're, as a paralegal, you're handling legal documents, you're working with attorneys and judges, and you're doing a lot of similar work to what you would do as a brand new associate. Obviously, you're not practicing law because you can't without a license, but that really helped me prepare for working at Smith Anderson today. Yes, I think that as a young student um, in the schools in North Carolina, you're in a great state as far as opportunity goes. There are lots of different types of jobs that you can have regardless of, of your background and regardless of what you may think you want to do at any given time. My advice would be to try to talk with your teachers or talk with people you know in the community who, um, who you look up to and who do different jobs and just ask what they do. Try to understand what their jobs are and ask if you can shadow them or get some experience um, at, their, at their office. I, I didn't take advantage of that when I was growing up, but that's kind of what I did later in life to end up where I am now. I think that if I had taken the initiative and tried to learn um, about the different jobs that were open to me earlier, that would have been good. Another thing that I would encourage students to do is to really work on their uh, writing skills, specifically when it comes to writing um, letters and like professional correspondence, whether that's a cover letter or even like a resume or an email. It, it really goes a long way to represent yourself professionally um, when you get into the job search and when you're um, a new person in an office setting. That's really helped a lot.